Now, Way 31 Storm Tracker Meteorologist Grace Anello with 31 Triple Doppler. I, I hear the rain on our rooftop, and I can only imagine as it goes east uh, Sand Mountain and then into Georgia, mm -hmm. how much more they're hearing than we are. Yeah, absolutely. So I have family that lives not far from Atlanta and they were all messaging me. I didn't see it till I woke up this morning, but messaging me late last night, the torrential rain that they had and the wind just unbelievable. Of course, it's no surprise as we now have tropical storm Helene not far at all from Atlanta. Now, Helene maintained its category one hurricane status until about four o'clock this morning, which is wild. So far inland, still a cat one hurricane now spinning at 70 miles an hour, just under that threshold. It is now a tropical storm. It's going to track north of Nashville and then into Kentucky, kind of arcing over the Tennessee Valley. And as it does so, our rain pattern is going to do the same thing. 518 on your Friday morning, the heaviest of that rain along the Georgia Alabama border. Plenty of flash flood warnings in North Georgia. We are not seeing those here in North Alabama, but this rain is going to continue for us as we head through the rest of the day. The way 31 Skycam Network powered by Thompson Roofing and Construction showing that rain, showing that cloud cover and showing those roads so ponded. I had to drive to work well slower than I really wanted to, if we're being completely honest, because the roads are so soggy and so saturated. Temperatures are sitting in the mid 60s this morning and rain cooled, so there's a little bit of dampness in the air. There's also a lot of humidity. And by this afternoon, just 71 degrees. So we're not even talking about a 10 degree bump today from low to high temperatures. It's even less than that. Most of this morning's rain will stay east of I-65. Most of this afternoon and evening's rain will stay west of it. As you head out the door early this morning and notice Helene off to the right side of your screen tracking up north of Nashville, follow it as it does so. By the time we get to 8 a.m., we're continuing to see that rain in Sand Mountain and in our northern counties very, very heavy at times. As we get to noon, that's when Helene is just north of Nashville bringing rain to our northern counties and then it swirls into western Kentucky, meaning a your five o'clock commute home. It's scattered rain east of the corridor, but a whole lot of rain to our west. That is going to continue as we head into to the rest of the night. Here's seven o'clock scattered rain for many of us. Very, very heavy rain over in the shoals. So if you have Friday night football tonight, if you have a dinner time date night, whatever it might be, bring an umbrella with you. Trust me when I tell you you're going to want it. We're going to keep that rain into the overnight hours. It diminishes. It gets lighter. It turns from heavy rain into more of a drizzle, but it doesn't leave us even until Saturday. I'm going to walk you through Saturday's future radar in just a second. So here's how your evening plays out. Our high temperature today, 71, sticking in the mid 60s all evening long. Those rain chances are persistent. So if you're headed out to high school football, bring a towel to wipe off the bleachers, bring an umbrella. The good news is I am tracking just rain at this time. So no thunder and lightning means it's actually safe to have that umbrella held over your head. Now, no severe weather risk today, but by far enough rain and wind, that wind up to 35 miles an hour to be routine altering. So that's why we're in the caution day. Saturday and Sunday are not completely dry, but they're getting there. So I have us back in the green. This is 7 a.m. on your Saturday. Helene continuing to swirl in western Kentucky, bringing light rain to our northern counties. Now, what I'm showing you here is our my most saturated future radar outlook. This is the way the math plays out to give us the most rain on Saturday. I don't think we're going to see quite this much. I think it'll be a little less, but I want you to have the worst case scenario. Scattered and light rain late in the afternoon and getting out of the way by bedtime. I think for the most part, we're all good to keep our Saturday plans. Just one or two drizzles. I'd have a plan B, but we're not talking about a Saturday washout. Sunday, it's one or two pockets of very light rain. Again, not worth canceling your plans. By the time we get to next week, we're talking about temperatures in the low to mid 80s. So nice and a whole lot of sunshine.